Marcus Conti reporting on two mass shootings. Two mass shootings, one in El Paso, Texas, the other one in Dayton, Ohio. What the hell is going on? Are these... Last week was the garlic shooting. A little guy, a guy, 19-year-old kid, shot three people at the garlic festival in California. Now at the border town of El Paso, shooting Hispanics, <laughs> uh, shooting, shooting club goers. So total of 20, 20 dead so far in the shooting in El Paso, Texas. Is there a correlation? Are they similar? I'm gonna try to tackle two two birds in one stone with this because there does seem to be a a very, very, very th- uh, a thread that seems to be sewing the two together, maybe all three together. All of the shooter suspects are young white men, angry white men with a, with a right-leaning mentality known to frequent 4chan and 8chan. Q. Q. Am I going out on a limb? I, I might be going out on a limb in this, but there is definitely on this, but there definitely is does seem to be a shocking correlation between the the murders here. So I'm gonna to try to go through this. I'm gonna there's a manifesto in the first one. The shooter in Texas left a, a manifesto. Let's talk about that. So here he is. So this is uh here he is Cornelius what's his name? <laughs> okay. Patrick Crucius Crucius Cruzius, Cruzius, Patrick Cruzius from Allen, Texas, shot 20 people in that in uh, in the border town of El Paso. So 20 people killed and dozens injured. Try to rule out FF on this one because I, I don't know. I mean, it seems very real. You know, it seems like it really happened. So I'm going to proceed as if it is real until other you know until further notice until further evidence evolves that that it that this did happen these two killings did happen within a 24-hour cycle and one week after the garlic shooting Uh, so 20 people killed and dozens injured in shooting near shopping mall in el paso a white male suspect identified as patrick cruzius taken into custody without incident at least 22 22 people hospitalized including one died one who died, nine in, in critical but stable condition. That's bad. One patient was a four-month-old kid. 20 people were killed and 26 others wounded. And a lot of those wounded are critical, so that number is going to rise. After a gunman went on a rampage Saturday at a Walmart in the Texas border town of El Paso, police said, a 21-year-old man was taken into custody after the police responded within six minutes to a report of an active shooter near the Cialo, Cialo Vista Mall. I don't know anything about El Paso, so if you do, you know, comment below. The suspect was captured on surveillance video entering the Walmart, uh, has been identified as 21-year-old Patrick Cruz. CBS News has confirmed Sergeant Rem- Gomez, a police spokesman, said the suspect was taken into custody, quote, without incident, and there was no longer a danger to the public. Now, this guy left a manifesto. All right? so, so just in, in brief, what we know is that he, he comes out of his car, he blasts a few people in the parking lot, he goes into the mall, he shoots some more. Within six minutes, I guess the police apprehend him, maybe put the gun down, I, I don't know. But if they apprehend him without incident, I, I, don't, I don't really know how they did that. And we don't have any, there's no video that I can find. I couldn't find the actual manifesto, so I'm going to paraphrase it. If anybody has uh, this kid's manifesto, kindly pass it on to me or, or uh, enlighten me with it in an email, please. Because I, I couldn't find it. I just spent over an hour, an hour and a half trying to find it. I couldn't find it. So there's just a lot of imagery of, of cops uh, on the rampage, there's no, I haven't seen any actual video evidence of the shooting. Trump tweets out, terrible shootings in El Paso, Texas. Reports are very bad. Many killed. Working with state and local authorities and law enforcement, spoke to governor to pledge total support of federal government. God believe, God be with you. So here's the manifesto. I want to talk about this. So he put out a um, police are reasonably confident uh, 
that a white nationalist, they're calling him a white nationalist, manifesto published 26 minutes prior to the shooting on the website 8chan. Um, Bored and entitled, quote, The Inconvenient Truth is linked to the suspect. The, the manifesto expresses support for and inspiration by the Christchurch mass, uh, mosque shootings, along, uh, along with uh, worry about Hispanic invasion, automation, large corporations, and environmental degradation. The manifesto said both the Republican and Democratic repo- politicians are, quote, either complicit or involved in the, quote, takeover of the United States government by unchecked corporations. Well, that is true. That is true. There is truth in that statement there, either complicit or involved. No, they're involved in the takeover of the United States governments by unchecked corporations. Takeover of the United States government. Yes, yes, yes. It's money in politics. The, man- the manifesto mentions the Native American genocide in, in the United States. The manifesto cites the white supremacist conspiracy theory, the Great Replacement, for uh, conducting the attack. The New York Times characterized, well, we don't care what the New York Times says, but they characterized the manifesto as racially ex- extreme, noting, quote, Hispanics will take control of the local and state government of my beloved Texas, changing policy to better suit their needs, unquote. He said, there's another quote here. In general, I, this is, the, this is the, the shooter in his own words. In general, I support the Christchurch shooter and his manifesto. This attack is a response to the, to the Hispanic invasion of Texas. They are the instigators, not me. I am simply defending my country from cultural and ethnic replacement brought on by an invasion. Wow. I wish we can get this manifesto. Well, I'd like to read more of it. So, so Hispanics will take control of Texas. Um, it expresses a specific concern that the, quote, heavy Hispanic population in Texas will make us a democratic, Democrat stronghold. The writer believed that the Democratic Party's appeal to increasing Hispanic population in the country would ultimately result in ensured Democratic Party dominance in the United States. The, the, a belief that has been spread on right-wing uh, radio shows in the past. Some politicians in El Paso police chief mentioned the manifesto uh, in updates with media outlets, blah, blah, blah. So that's what we know about the manifesto. That's what we know about this kid. He's a, it's, it's right along the lines of, you know, the talking points of Rush Limbaugh and, and right wing, you know, right Republican politicians about border control, build a wall, right? All right, so there's a lot of that, a lot of that going on, right? So, uh, what else do we know? So there's just a lot of video of. Uh, so we'll find out more as this goes on. So he's he's what else now? There's another one. Here he is. Here's a picture of a guy. Oh, there's another shot, another photo of a kid. Another photo. Here he is with his gun. Here he is with his gun. Damn. Is it the guns? Because that's what the that's what the that's what the chorus of of Democratic candidates is now going to say: take away their guns. Is it is it gun violence? Because in my view, even if you took away the guns, someone would you know it would be a machete or it would be a you know they'd start blowing people up, they'd start bombing people, they'd start chopping off heads or or um, you know tasing or electrocuting people or or throwing gasoline on them and setting them on fire, right? Guns are available, and that's the choice of, of, you know, choice of weapon for the, you know, for the manifesto crazy. I, it's not, I, I, again, I stand by it. I don't think it's, I, I don't, it's not the gun. It's, the, it's the, the psychology of the killer. It's the abject poverty in this country that leads one to believe that it is the immigrant taking from you. Uh, without the immigrant... Uh, he, they're fighting over crumbs, basically. That's, you know, that is my view of it. And, uh, you know, convince me otherwise. So, 
So there's um, so there's more. So let's look at Ohio now. So that's that's Texas. Um, the suspect is 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 alive and in custody. And here's Texas. Suspect killed after mass shooting in in Dayton, Ohio. Incre- incredible, right? Nine people in Ohio have been killed in the second mass shooting in in the U.S. in less than 24 hours. And the suspected shooter is also deceased. I know less about this one than the first one. Dayton, uh, Dayton police tweeted that an active shooter situation began in uh, Oregon District at 1 a.m. So it's late at night, club, club kids. But officers nearby were able to put an end to it quickly, uh, said, the press confer- said at the press conference, that the suspect was shot to death by responding officers. At least 16 others were taken into local hospitals with uh, injuries. No, te- no details about the victims were released. So we don't have a name or a photograph of this shooter at this time in, in, in doing this. Uh, police believe there was only one shooter and have, yet, ha- have not yet uh, identified the suspect or a motive. Okay, so I am jumping the, the gun on this one a little bit, but there is, a re- there is reports that he is a, 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 a young white uh, male just days. Uh, that, that's that's the that's what I had seen so far somewhere else. So what else do we know about this? The suspect shooter was uh, shot and killed by um, responding officers. So they know who he is. They definitely they got him. They got a dead body. They got a body, right? Um, what else? Dayton shooter was a young white male. So the MOs, the, the uh, you know, the modus operandi of all three of them, the uh, mental observations, the, the physical psychology, the physical being of all three shooters in Garlic shooting in, um, in, in Dayton, Ohio, and in El Paso, Texas, all are young, white, male, angry, right-leaning, same same uh, uh, anti-immigrant uh, um, rhetoric. Uh, so there is a there is a let's throw this in just for shits and giggles. There's a guy on a Trump site. Make 45 become 46 again. <laughs> That's pretty stupid, right? No, if if Trump gets reelected, he's 45 again. Keep 45, 45 again, you bonehead. This is crazy, man. So, uh, so what's going on here, man? What the hell is going on? Fucking people killing each other, right? It's all this shooting. Is it QAnon? Is it? Is it a? Are they linked in any way? Is are they sleeper cells shooting up the shooting up the joint? Is it something that I missed? Something that you missed? It's something that we together missed, and is now manifesting into a a full on. A full-on shooting spree in our country. Is this what we've come to? Is the failed attempt of Trump to genetic, uh, ethnically cleanse our country of immigrants, the rhetoric of build a wall, the rhetoric of lock them up, lock her up, lock them up, put all the pedophiles and all the, all the, all the, uh, all the dirty Democrats, Comey and McKay, put them all in Guantanamo. And when it didn't happen, are people taking the law into their own hands? Is that what's happening? Is that what's going on? Because it sure seems like it. Anthony Camillo shot the Gambino crime boss right here. Here he is, flashing his hand. Taking it, taking it. He was ready to make citizens arrests in Staten Island, arresting Adam Schiff and uh, you know, and um, what's that other one? Fucking that crazy black uh, politician. He wanted to arrest, uh, arrest uh, uh, Bill de Blasio. Is that what's going on here? Is that what the common thread is? That they're all, they're all, they're all in the sleeper cell, following the H hand board, listening to QAnon. You'll say, "Oh no, no, QAnon is just." Uh, I know they're watering it down already. The QAnon people, you guys are watering that shit down, saying, "No, no, no, it's just an information site." No, it it does. It makes, it makes you know wild, wild, you know, accusations and wild, uh, it predicts actual times and dates of events that are supposed to happen. 
it makes assumptions that certain people will be locked up. Uh, it makes the, the incredible assertion that he's connected to Trump in some way, that this is a state-run conspiracy, a state-run psyop to educate the public. And what always shocks me about that is when people say that. They say, oh, no, that's Trump communicate, communicating directly to the people. <clears throat> well, Trump communicates directly to the people through a Twitter account. He does it on a daily basis, sometimes 10 times, 20 times, 15 times a day, is communi communicating directly to you. What, that's not good enough for you? That's not enough word from the, you know, from the horse's mouth? Okay. That's what Trump does. So why, why do you believe that there's more to it? Why do you believe that, that, that Trump is, is leaking out this other stuff via an HN board, which has only caused pain and misery. Why? Because Trump has stopped talking about locking them all up. He just waves his finger and he puts it on AG Barr. And, um, you know, it's not going to happen. I, I tell you, I mean, it's so obvious. You know, this was, this was obviously a, a, a prank, a, a way to pacify the, the Trumpsters. And now it's, you know, it's, it's escalating, possibly escalating to, to uh, sleeper cell shooters. So... That is my, that is my, I don't know, my educated opinion, my, my observation, just like your observation, we all have one. And I'm starting to lean on that these are real, this is real, this is a phenomena, and now it's like it's harvesting the hate, and the hate is now manifesting into young people taking, taking, their, taking the law into their own hands and releasing their anger at the, uh, you know, at the barrel of a gun on innocent people. It's, 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 what, it's what it appears to be. So Marcus Conte reporting.